The relationship between Hollywood legend Clint Eastwood and actress Sandra Locke was a captivating and tumultuous chapter. Their love affair, which began in the mid-1970s, brought together two talented people whose personal and professional lives became deeply intertwined. The relationship was marked by passion, collaboration on film projects, legal disputes, and ultimately a highly publicized and contentious breakup. Join Facts First as we present Clint Eastwood Confirms Why He Didn't Marry Sandra Locke. Clint and Sandra's Origins Clint Eastwood and Sandra Locke had a complex and controversial relationship that began in the mid-70s. Clint, a Hollywood icon known for his roles in westerns and action films, was already a well-established actor and director by the time he crossed paths with Sandra Locke. Sandra, born Sandra Louise Smith, May 28, 1944, in Shelbyville, Tennessee, was an aspiring actress when she met Eastwood. She had already made a name for herself in the film industry with notable performances in movies like The Heart is a Lonely Hunter, which earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Their first encounter occurred during auditions for Eastwood's film The Outlaw Josie Wales. Locke eventually landed the part of Laura Lee, a key character in the film. This marked the beginning of their personal and professional relationship. Eastwood was married to Maggie Johnson at the time, but his marriage was already strained. Over time, his relationship with Locke deepened, and they began a romantic affair. In 1975, Eastwood officially separated from Johnson, and his relationship with Locke became public knowledge. They went on to collaborate on several films together, including The Gauntlet and Every Which Way But Loose. However, their relationship was marked by controversy and turbulence. Locke later sued Eastwood for palimony in 1989, claiming he had promised her financial support and career opportunities in exchange for her agreeing to undergo two abortions during their time together. We'll dive more into that in a moment. The relationship ended acrimoniously, and they did not work together professionally after their legal dispute. Sandra continued to act, but her career never reached the heights it had during her time with Eastwood. Clint, on the other hand, continued his successful career as actor, director, and producer. The Legal Dispute the legal dispute between Clint Eastwood and Sandra Locke was a highly publicized and contentious affair that unfolded in the late 80s. At the center of the dispute were allegations made by Sandra that Clint had made promises of financial support and career opportunities in exchange for her agreement to undergo two abortions during their relationship. The Lawsuit Sandra Locke filed a palimony lawsuit against Clint Eastwood in 1989, seeking financial compensation for what she claimed were broken promises made during their romantic relationship and her professional association with Eastwood. Palimony refers to financial support or division of assets between unmarried couples who have lived together. Abortion Allegations one of the most controversial aspects of Locke's lawsuit was her assertion that Eastwood had pressured her into having two abortions. She claimed Eastwood had promised her financial security and career opportunities in exchange for her agreement to terminate the pregnancies. These allegations were a focal point of the legal battle and garnered significant media attention. Eastwood's Response Clint Eastwood vehemently denied her allegations. He maintained their relationship was consensual and there had been no coercive tactics or promises of financial support in exchange for abortions. Eastwood's legal team argued that Locke's claims were an attempt to extort money from him. Settlement the legal battle between Eastwood and Locke was protracted and bitter, playing out in the public eye. Ultimately, in 1990, the two parties reached a settlement. Although Eastwood did not admit to any wrongdoing, he agreed to pay Sandra a substantial sum, reportedly around $7 million. This settlement effectively ended the lawsuit. Impact on her career Following the legal dispute, Sandra Locke's career in Hollywood suffered. She had already experienced challenges in her career before the lawsuit, but her public feud with Eastwood and the negative publicity surrounding the case further limited her opportunities in the industry. Continuing Controversy The legal battle between Clint and Sandra remains a controversial and divisive subject. While Eastwood's supporters believe he was unfairly targeted, Locke's supporters see her as a victim who was taken advantage of during her relationship with the Hollywood icon. Why Clint Didn't Marry Sandra Clint and Sandra's relationship was a long and complex one, but they never married despite being together many years. There were several reported reasons why they didn't tie the knot. 
When they first became romantically involved, Clint Eastwood was still married to his first wife, Maggie Johnson. Though the marriage was strained and they officially separated in 1975, the fact that he was still legally married may have been a significant barrier to Clint and Sandra getting married. Both Clint and Sandra had been previously married before they started dating each other. Locke had been married to Gordon Lee Anderson, and Eastwood had his marriage to Maggie Johnson. It's possible their prior marital experiences influenced their decision not to rush into another marriage. Also, Clint has always been a private and independent person. He may have been hesitant to enter into another high-profile marriage after his divorce from Maggie. His career and personal life were already under intense scrutiny, and a high-profile marriage to Locke might have intensified media attention. And the relationship between the two was marked by turbulence and legal disputes, including the contentious palimony lawsuit. And Clint Eastwood was deeply committed to his career as an actor, director, and producer. His dedication to his work may have left little time or inclination for marriage to Sandra. After Sandra After Clint Eastwood's relationship with Sandra Locke ended, he entered into a new relationship with actress Frances Fisher. Fisher, of British and American descent, is known for her roles in films and TV series. The two met on the set of the movie Pink Cadillac, released in 1989. The relationship began sometime around 1990, shortly after Eastwood's legal battle with Locke. Eastwood and Fisher appeared together in public events and were seen together frequently during the early 90s. They attended various awards ceremonies and premieres together, including the Academy Awards. Their relationship was characterized by a relatively lower level of public scrutiny compared to Eastwood's previous relationships. Francis and Clint never got married, and they didn't have children together. But the friendship lasted for several years before eventually coming to an end. The exact timeline of their relationship is not well documented, but they parted ways amicably. Following his relationship with Francis Fisher, Clint Eastwood continued to date and was occasionally linked publicly to other women. He's been relatively private about his personal life in recent years, choosing to focus on his career as a filmmaker, actor, and director. In 1996, he married Dina Ruiz, a television news anchor and reporter. They had one child together, a daughter, Morgan. In August 2013, it was reported Dina had filed for divorce. Despite their divorce, they've maintained a relatively amicable relationship for the sake of their daughter. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite Clint Eastwood movie? Let us know in the comments section below.